<laughs> okay, let's do our warm ups and do a little upper body work today. So feet hip width apart, spread your toes out, get the weight in and across the balls of the toes, balls of the feet, and the sides and the back. Lift your toes up, spread them out, put them down without gripping. Shoulders back and down, and just stack everything for support as you reach your crown to the ceiling. Get your core activated with those ribs toward your spine and up. And just take a moment to sink evenly into your feet and relax. Inhale deeply, bringing energy and awareness in. Exhale, let all that stress and tension across the shoulders and wherever else you're holding it go. And then reach the crown up. Inhale, keep the shoulders down as you bring your arms to shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows back. Inhale, shoulders down as you bring your arms to the front. And then clasp your hands behind you and press them to the floor. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, coming into that upper body throw back. Shoulder, shoulder blades toward your waist. Spread your toes. Pivot at your hips, exhale, come on over. As you get into your forward position, just pause a moment. Circle your chin a few times one way, and then stop and go the other way. So let that back of your neck release a little bit. And then lift the sitting bones. Bring your hands further toward your head. Bend your knees slightly. Tucking your chin just a little bit. You push the sitting bones down as you mind back slowly up through the spine, all the way to the top, lifting your heart. Stretch your head back. Keep the chin slightly towards your chest, though, so that back of the neck keeps stretching out. And don't forget to breathe. And then on an inhalation, come on up. Release your arms. Take a moment just feeling that circulation, building a little bit more through your spine. And again, arms to shoulder level, hands to your heart, shoulders stay down, bring your arms to the front, and then clasp the hands the other way behind you. So just shift them one position over. Lift your heart, stretch your head back in that upper body back bend, and then pivot over. Tuck your chin in slightly, and again, work that chin around, releasing your neck. Bring your hands toward your head, maybe a little bit more. Take a few breaths there. Lift your sitting bones a little for the back of your legs. And then bend your knees. And again, slowly wind your way back up. Lift your heart as you get to the top. And again, a nice stretch into that upper body back bend. And keeping that neck stretching out as well. Take a breath or two there. And then inhale upright and release your arms. Take a moment just feeling that warmth circulating a little bit. Arms out at shoulder level, the shoulder blades down, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Pass them and clasp. And then bring your arms back next to your ears. Everything straight for our side stretch. And lean over to the side on um, one side and push the opposite foot down. Get that rib area opening a little bit more. Just relaxing. And then inhale back up. Switch the other hand to the front. Lengthen again with the arms by your ears and lean to the opposite side. Maximize it with that foot pressing down and those ribs stretching a little bit further. Keep the shoulder, the shoulder blades still though toward your waist. I know a little conundrum. And then inhale back to the center and release into mountain pose. Bring your shoulders up, back and down a couple of times. Just letting that shoulder area release a little bit more. And then back in mountain pose, just realign everything and stretch your spine apart for our twist. Arms at shoulder level, palms up, 
hands over your shoulders, clasping your elbows. Arms next to your ears, and again, stretch the crown high, elbows out, but shoulders down. And then exhale to one side for your twist. Weight on both feet as evenly as you can, lengthen the spine apart, and exhale over in the twist. Take a moment there, just hanging. See if your weight is still on both feet even. And then slowly inhale your way back up in the twist and coming to the upper body for your left foot. Shoulders down, elbows back. Take a couple breaths there. Relax into that upper body back down. Inhale to the top. Exhale around to the center and switch your arms. And again, lengthen and stretch the spine apart. Exhale to the other side. Take a breath. And as you exhale, pivot over, keeping the weight on both feet as evenly as you can, even as you come toward one side. Take a moment there, breathing, just relaxing. And again, staying in your twist, work all the way up into that upper body back. Again, shoulders down, elbows down. Chest high, and then stretch your spine. Inhale to the top, exhale to the center, arms up, shoulders down into extended mountain. Take a moment there. And then come up on one side, coming up on the opposite toes, lifting the heel on that other foot. Get that side stretching a little bit more. Now remember, keep that shoulder relaxed though. I know, it's hard, but different parts of your body don't have to go the same way as the other parts. It just takes a little bit more concentration. And then release that side and bring the other one up. Again, keep the shoulder going down even as you raise that hand up and come up on that opposite toe with the heel lifting so this whole side is stretching out. Let's do that once more. Both feet down and then come up on the other side. Heel raised. Shoulder down, fingertips out. Coming down, do the other side. Again, keep that shoulder going as down as you can while you reach up. And then both feet down, both arms up, extend the mountain. Take a moment there, sitting bones toward the floor, ribs in and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down, spread your toes, get centered and grounded. Pivot at the hip joint, and get parallel to the floor with your upper body. Elbows straight, knees straight, spine straight. Stretch it out a little more. Keep those shoulder blades though, still going toward your waist. And then just drop into rag doll and hang. Kind of move those shoulders around as you're hanging in rag doll, circling one way and then the other. And then slide your hands up under your knees into that halfway up stretch. So as you're there, elbows, knees, and spine straight, shoulders, shoulder blades, reaching toward your waist. And again, drop down and around down. Bend your knees slightly and wind your way up from the bottom of the spine all the way to the top. Bring those shoulders up by your ears all the way toward the back and down. You feel that release as you get back into mountain pose. Take a moment there, just feeling all that upper body circulation. Work your chin around, so bring your chin into that little throat center indentation, base of your neck. Just let the back of your head relax, and then roll your chin over toward one shoulder, Lift the chin up toward the ceiling, but keep stretching out through the base of your skull. And then rotate, looking straight up overhead. Bring the chin over to the other side, still looking up. And then bring it down toward your shoulder. And roll it all the way back toward the center. Do that same circuit again, rolling it to the shoulder, lifting it toward the ceiling. Bringing it toward the center, straightening that neck out, and bringing it to the other side. 
and rolling it down through that to the center. And then relax the shoulders and bring the chin to the other side. Lift it toward the ceiling, look straight up overhead, over to the other shoulder. Keep both shoulders down as you go, rolling the chin back to the center. And again, another time on that same circle. Over to the shoulder, up toward the ceiling, rolling to the middle, over to the other shoulder, and again, down and toward the center. And as you get back into that central place, bring one hand up to the back of your head and then the other. Add weight, not pressure, and just let that back of your neck get a little extra strength. Take a moment. Remember, the rest of your body is still in that pose, only that neck is getting stretched. Take a moment and relax. And then bring your hands back down and rotate your face to the front. Feel the back of your neck a little more stretched. Lift your chin. Look up toward the ceiling. And then bring your hands one at a time to your forehead. And again, don't press, just add a little weight. Chin lifting, but again, keep that base of the skull stretching out so the back of your neck keeps stretching even while it's back bending. Take a breath, elbows out toward the sides, relax everything. Shoulders where? Yeah, toward your waist. And then releasing your hands again back to your sides. Tip your chin back upright, facing the front. Feel your neck a little bit more stretched out. Bring your arms up to shoulder level. Bend your elbows, fingertips together right in front of you. Keep those arms at shoulder level as much as you can. Again, the rest of the body is in that pose. Shoulder, shoulder blades toward your waist, crown toward the ceiling. Keep breathing and bring the elbows back, separating your fingertips. Bring the fingertips back together. Bring the arms out and all the way around and toward the back, right about shoulder level, as far back as it wants to go. It doesn't have to go all the way, just what your shoulders want to do. And then slowly bringing the fingertips back together in front of you. And again, a little bit apart and together, and then swinging out and around. Shoulder blades, shoulders rotating down as you bring the arms as far back as they want to go, and then coming back to the center. And just one more time, elbows back, fingertips together, arms out, bring it around, and back to the center. And release your arms. Back in mountain pose, just take a moment. Check your toes, make sure they're still spreading apart. Check your core, make sure it's still activated, supporting you. Check your shoulders and shoulder blades down toward your waist and the crown reaching up. Lengthen in mountain pose, take a moment, just breathing. Let those shoulders totally relax. And then a backstroke of swimming, just getting those shoulders rotating around. Bring the arm in close to your ears. It comes up and down. Do what's right for your body. Always personal practice. Feel that whole spine, whole shoulder, arm area working. All the way down into your lower back even. And again, releasing back into mat and pose. Just move those shoulders around a little bit more, circling one way and then the other. And back into mountain pose, angle your feet slightly up, bending your knees toward your toes, not beyond. Hands above your knees. We're gonna bring the shoulder across toward that opposite knee. So a little twist, keep lengthening the spine so it goes a little bit easier all the way across. And then push that opposite sitting bone out and away. And then back to the center, bring that other shoulder across. 
And again, the sitting bone opposite going out. And then back to the center, tucking your chin just slightly and roll back up, shoulders back and down, toes to the front, back into mountain pose. Take a moment and breathe. And then bring one arm out in front, turn the palm toward the center, bend your elbow 90 degrees, fingertips straight up toward the ceiling. So eagle arms, I'm going to bring the other arm out to the side, and then swing it under and see if you can touch the palms of your hands or fingertips toward each other. And then bring the thumbs right into your nose in the middle, Drop your shoulders and shoulder blades down, elbows down and in. Take a moment and let things relax a little bit there. Get as much as you can. If those hands don't palms together, you can just do the backs of your hands together. Take a moment and breathe. Relax through the shoulders. And then bring the elbow out and bring your arms up. So just feel what's going on across that back of the shoulder area. Don't go too high. Just do what's right to release a little bit further into it if that works for you. Take a moment to breathe. And then exhale, elbows down and in, lowering the hands and release. And just relax through that whole arm area. Take a moment, feeling your body, and of course, balancing it, we need to do the other side. So opposite arm out, palm toward the center, elbow bending, fingertips up. Other arm out at shoulder level, keep everything releasing and relaxing in mountain pose as you swing it under, and see if you can bring those palms together. And again, do what's right. Your fingertips may be against the palm. The backs of your hands may be toward each other. Only what's right for your body as it goes into that position. Elbows down and in. Fingertips in. Thumbs toward the center of your nose. And again, just relax there, bringing the shoulders and shoulder blades down. Core still activated, supporting your spine. Crown reaching up toward the ceiling. Take a breath, just relaxing. Everything releasing tightness. And then bring the elbows out slightly and raise the arms a little higher if that works for you. And again, relax your shoulders, shoulder blades, everything as you bring those fingertips up a little higher. Keep those thumbs in right at the nose area as you raise now, maybe higher toward your forehead. Take a breath. Exhale. And bring the elbows down and in, releasing. And again, just swing those arms around. Bring the shoulders up and around. And the opposite leg. And relax your arms. A moment to breathe. Bring your hands together in front of you for your position. Look at your hands and bring them up toward the ceiling. Keep looking at your thumbs. Keep those shoulders and shoulder blades down. Lift your heart. Bring your thumbs back into that upper body. That Exhale, hands to your heart. Pivot on over into ragdoll. Just hang. And again, circle those shoulders around both ways as you can and then slide your hands up under your knees straighten everything elbows knees spine keep the shoulders shoulder blades pushing down toward your waist reach the sitting bones back and the crown forward take a moment and breathe exhale back into it bend your knees Palms together, again, slowly coming up, shoulders staying down as you pivot and bring the arms, reaching the hands toward the ceiling. Another upper body back bend, shoulders toward your waist, still as you go into the back bend. Exhaling, follow your hands again, 
all the way pivoting over into Ragdoll. And this time, come on all the way to the mat into child's pose for our transition. Hands, palms up, forehead toward the floor. Knees together, get that back of your body getting a nice stretch if you love it. And don't forget to relax. And then inhale, sitting up, slide off and come into your staff position. <laughs> so take a moment as you get those sitting bones slightly behind you, press out through the bottoms of your feet. I'm going to warm up the hips a little bit and we'll do a little cow's head. So bend your knee, bring the foot up to the upper thigh of the opposite leg and let that knee come down. Feel that outside hip rotator. Just let it relax. Knee coming toward the floor. Remember, the more your sitting bones are back or even elevated a little, the more that pelvic area opens for this opening, letting those hips release. You can also bring the knee over, knee and foot over to the side, but keep the knee and toes up. Just let this knee relax, coming down as much as it wants to. Letting this hip area release. And then flip and knee into your hands or pull it in and rock it back and forth. Side to side, just breathing, letting it release a little bit more through that hip area as much as your body wants to. And bring it higher or closer if you want it a little more intense, but no need if that's not working today. And then release that leg. Feel the difference. So we need to balance things. Foot to your thigh, knee coming down. And again, core active, supporting your spine, spine lengthening up as you let that knee come toward the floor. Bring the knee and foot over to the side on that front leg or do what you need to. Just a little extra weight, not pressure into that knee if that's working for you today. Relax, breathing, letting it happen. And then bring your foot and knee into your hands, work it back and forth, or pull it in. And again, do what's right for you, as much intensity as you bought, your body wants today. And then release. So we're gonna do the legs first. So bend your right knee straight out to the front, heel coming over next to your left hip. And then the right, no, the left knee comes on top. So your right knee is bent first, your left knee is on top, otherwise I'll get confused. Heels right near your hips as much as works for you, knees stacked as much as they will. And then with the left knee on top, bring the right arm out, Palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Bend your elbow, bring that hand in toward your spine, and then push your head back into that arm so you're not leaning forward. You want to keep the spine straight. Push that hand down toward your middle of your back. You can take that other hand and push on the elbow to help facilitate. But keep that head pushing back into it because we have a tendency to round forward otherwise. And then bring your other hand, your left hand around and see if you can bring your fingertips together. If that doesn't work, just hold your shirt and work toward the other one. And again, head pushing back and up, sitting bones sinking as much evenly toward the floor as they want to. And elbows coming in toward your spine and then reaching away from each other. The one that's down goes down, the one that's up goes up. Take a breath. Release as you exhale. Feel your shoulders again, relaxing. And then release your legs, feeling that hip area release as well. And of course, yeah, we're going to do it the other way to balance things out. So left knee then straight out to the front, heel back by your hip, right knee on top. You did it the other way, just reversing. Always the opposite arm coming out first. So your right knee on top, left arm out, palm up, arm over your shoulder, bend the elbow, fingertips down towards your neck. 
push that head back into the arm. You can pull the elbow in again, getting a little bit more aligned if that works for you. Notice that as you're focusing on the arms, those hips release and relax a little bit more all on their own. And then wrap the other hand around, see if you can touch on the side. So remember, some people do one side, not the other. Some people do both, and a lot of people do neither. Just get as close as it works for you, pulling those elbows in and stretching them away from each other. Take a breath. Just relaxing and release. Feel your arms and shoulders again, and bring your legs back out. Take a moment, feeling that circulation through your whole body. Feet to the end of the mat. Core activated, rolling all the way onto the floor for our final relaxation. Arms, palms up, letting those shoulders and shoulder blades just sink toward the floor. Whole upper body, just let it release. Lots of shoulder work today. Lots of arms work. Let it go. Take a moment, bring those toes together and then let them just separate slightly. Move your head side to side. Circle the jaw, the chin, go the other way. And then finding that middle point, just let your whole head grow heavy and sink into that surface beneath you. Deep breath in. Exhale, just let your body go. Heavy and relaxed. Let that whole upper body sink even further into that surface beneath you, releasing and relaxing completely. And allow awareness of your body to release from your thoughts. As you do, other thoughts will come to you. Let them go with that. Remember, it's the job of your mind producing those thoughts. It's your choice if you pay attention, just to let them drift away without awareness. And as your body relaxes and deepens into the earth, and your mind softens and floats, releasing the content of your thoughts, just let your awareness turn inward. Find the peace within. Feel your body, feel your mind. Take a few moments, be in peace. And of course, if you have time for more relaxation today, just take as much time as you need. If it's time to reactivate for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness back to the breath, to the moment, to the moment. And as you breathe more deeply into your body, just begin moving it gently. So clean your feet, your arms, letting yourself have a good stretch. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, heels in toward your hips, knees up toward your heart, wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug, letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead rest of your day today. Thanks for joining me.